dude, that's so technical. Like this corner literally looks impossible. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm gonna take you, as well as my buddy Alexander Chapelier, to write some steep and pretty gnarly stuff in Squamish. Alex has been there before to take some photo and video of myself, but has not ridden his bike there, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. We're gonna be talking about the mental aspect with confidence and fear, as well as some pretty important riding skills to know, and some bike setup. Let's go. Let's go. All right, first feature of the day. So it's definitely not the hardest one, but it's not the easiest one either. So it's gonna be a good warm up. The dirt is super wet, so is the rock, so the traction is not gonna be optimal. As you can see, it's crazy steep, but there is that huge compression at the bottom, which is to me the biggest difficulty. So picking up the smoothest line is gonna be key. From the top, it looks like the middle or the left might be smoother, but when you walk the bottom, you actually realize that the right line is gonna be the least amount of impact and it lines you up better with the exit which is why you always want to walk a feature from every single aspect you can and in terms of braking because it's off camber and wet i want to modulate my brakes as much as possible to go as slow as possible but without locking the wheels when it's gonna get too steep i'm still gonna be on the brake so i can manage the speed and still go as slow as possible and then i'm gonna brace for the impact make sure i look ahead for a smooth exit, let's ride. Okay, drop. Okay, onto the warm up. Going to open my corner here so I can fit my bars. Very slow. Lots of front brake, heels down. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> I actually put a lot of front brake, dropped my heels and I kept on braking the entire time but I put a heavy braking on the compression to be able to slow down this quick. All right, let's come in as slow as I can. Try to find a smoother transition at the bottom. But what's actually gonna be the trickiest is the entrance. Those trees are really, really tight and my bars are pretty wide. This with those awkward roots at the bottom I think we're gonna have to do some jiggling to fit there. <laughs> They're not so tight. Okay, setting up here. And we're rolling. Yeah, Alex. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, Alex got really good braking, but this is just such an early transition. It's really hard to tell in camera, but it's like 15 or 20 feet tall to basically flat. So, how you dude? Quite the impact. Eh? Yeah, it's quite the free fall onto a really harsh transition. Uh, especially with these conditions, it was pretty hard to, to slow down on the rock. You're like skipping. Yeah, like honestly, it wasn't that bad, but like you don't really know what to expect, especially that's our warm up. So, yeah. it's not like we've been riding all day and have like a good understanding of like how it's actually gonna grip yeah, or yeah. not. But now he did well. Bike looks a little bit soft on the front, maybe. Yeah, I haven't touched this fork in a while. I could probably add a bit of air in the ramp up because I fully bottomed out on the front here. Yeah, maybe just like some high speed and low speed compression to yeah. keep the front end high and just to be able to support you in those impact. Yeah. That's how I ride my bike uh, when doing stuff like that and it definitely helps a lot. So I'm gonna follow you on it. Okay, let's, let's go. It. Okay, I'm going to follow Alex, if I can go through the tree. Nice! Yeah, boy! Going through that tree is really hard. My oh, bars dude. are 745 millimeters. Wow. How wide are yours? 800. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's a huge difference. I don't think you could actually yeah. ride the trail smoothly and go through the tree mm -hmm. with 800 millimeter That'd bars. That would be pretty so. tricky. You'd have to be doing <laughs> some crazy stuff. 
Okay, <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah, let's go. So Alex, second line of the day. Uh -huh. You'll see there is a lot going on. This is very technical. Yeah. Couple of like super tricky corner. And same style as the feature we just did. A steep rock roll with a big G out. Yeah. But this time, quite some exposure at the bottom. True, so yeah. for whatever reason, you can't slow down enough. Make sure you lay on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, don't go left. So don't look where you don't want to go. Never. Look where you want to go. <laughs> when you're coming down here, make sure you look at your corner. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to go straight. Yeah, it's great. It's pretty big slab, really steep. I can see a lot of wet dirt on it into a corner with an area you really don't want to go towards. Yeah, so <laughs> that's going to be a tricky one. Before we move on with our next feature, I want to share with you a pretty awesome discount. So one up components, which has been a partner of mine for quite some time now, they are from Squamish. They now also support Alex. And in my opinion, they make some of the most innovative and best components out there. Well, with the code REMY20, you're now going to be able to save 20% off handlebars and stem only for a month. So make sure you check out the link in the description and use the code REMY20. If you wonder, I have the carbon E-bars 35 mm rise on my spin drift with a 35 mm stem and I absolutely love the feel. It is really compliant, so it's very comfortable for my hands and for my wrist, and that gives me a really good position, especially when riding steep and gnarly terrain. Alex, what do you run? Yeah, I'm on the One Up Carbon 35 handlebar, 35 mm stem, and I've run those bars for many, many years, and I've yet to find a better handlebar, so I'm really pumped to be back on those bars this year. Dude, that's a crazy corner. This is definitely the most technical thing we're gonna do today. There's so much going on and it's pretty really hard to tell in video, but it's gonna be quite a, quite a challenge uh -huh. to, to even ride. So you're coming up the crest, you can't actually really see what's going on, so it's very difficult to line up with that. It's off camber, there is a step, a lot that can happen, you can yeah. catch a pedal on that rock. Then you've got very little time on that shelf to reset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously a ton of exposure on the right because why not? <laughs> and yeah. then that slab is like super steep, it's off camber, and you got a massive G out at the bottom. So it's gonna be really important to really brace yourself. But at the same time, because of the G out, yeah. you're gonna be able to make yourself very heavy, press really hard on your brake levers, get the tires to bite the dirt and lose all your speed before you make the right under, because mm -hmm. after that, you got that uh, big slab we saw that's currently uh -huh. super wet with the right under at the bottom. So a lot going on. I'm going to try to make it one go. Okay. Uh, it's going to be difficult, but yeah. uh, let's do it. I uh, really want to see how you do that corner. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is going to be uh, <laughs> the part I'm uh, nervous about. Yeah, boy. Dude, that's so technical. Like this corner literally looks impossible. And so it was good, yeah. It was good to see Remy to kind of visualize what he did, which was being really controlled, really precise, super on the inside, and then you you set up for the for the slab right away. They all run in. <laughs> Dude, là j'ai pas long. I don't have the angle. I need to like hop my rear. Yeah, yeah. Because if not, here I was like. Yeah, but worst case, Alex. Yeah, you yeah. might still be able to. You, yeah, I think. It's really awkward, but you have to. Yeah. Like, I. It you have to put the front down to put the rear. Yeah, you want to like turn your wheel regardless and yeah. look left. Yeah, yeah. Like the key is where you're gonna be looking. Yeah, yeah. I know it's super awkward, and you know you being tall is definitely not an advantage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think I just need to, because right now yeah, my bike is so long, I didn't have the the angle. I just need to hop my rear, open the angle, and then I think you'll go. But regardless, yeah. Once you're in that position, you can try. Like yeah, you got that tree. Yeah, 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 I'm here to support. I got like, you. Even if you can't yeah. roll the second part, at least you, yeah, you get, get your confidence. Feel. You, you want to get feel, a feel yeah. for the knuckle. For sure. Cool, man. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yes. 
Okay, now that was that was better, but uh, yeah, I just need to commit. That I was, was yeah, but I could I could tell by yeah. your look. Yeah, I was you, not. You yeah. never looked here. No, no, no. The entire time you looked there, and so you go no, where no, you look, no, no, right? It's, like I know I it's, feel... it's it's difficult because it's so cold, but you need to force yourself to look where yeah, you want yeah, to yeah. go. No, I was I was feeling it, and I was like no. And then I look for an area too. I know the start was good. Okay, okay, that's better. We're getting there, boy. He's got it. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, keep going. I had it. You had it. You need to. You you want to keep moving. Yeah, I had to. Once I touch the uh, the ground, I cannot go push this way. But yeah. if I was more active, I could have rolled forward. Yeah, you. It's it's difficult because obviously there is the exposure and there's a lot going on. Yeah. But once you get there, like try to try to no. keep going as long as your front wheel is in the right spot, which yeah. it was, like you're good. No, and, and here, you know, I felt my rear wheel sliding in place, which felt good. Yeah. That, yeah. that was a good feeling. No, that, that's why even if you're not like perfectly set up at you're the start, your rear wheel is yeah. going to slide and get into places. Yeah, yeah. But once it touches the ground, you kind of need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that there is... There is rocks to catch up your rear wheel, so your rear wheel is always going to be well placed. No, totally. As long as your front wheel is also well placed, just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we got it. Keep riding, keep riding. <laughs> oh. Okay, that, hey, that's an improvement. That's an improvement, yeah. Yeah, okay, go again, I go again. Yeah, Alex. Nice. That was good. All right. That was solid, dude. We got it done. You have a huge disadvantage on me because you're at like six two, uh -huh. and like you don't have nearly <laughs> as much space as me to move below the tree. Uh -huh. Your bike's a full 29er, it's longer than mine, so making that super tight corner yeah. like is obviously much harder for yeah, you than it is for me. I felt like I really had to hop that wheel to open up the angle. Yeah. And then once my two wheels made it on the second step, yeah. literally your front wheel is already in the thing. So that's why I had troubles committing. I know, you have no time to yeah. actually recess. So if you're like a bit sideways or you kind of like off balance, yeah. It's, it's too late, like you, you exactly. have to commit. That's, but once it goes through, dude, this feature feels amazing. It felt yeah. really cool. I feel like I could clean it up, roll a bit better in between. I cannot stop, but I want it to be safe. Yeah, yeah. And that still felt good. And I'm glad I connected the rest of the line. Yeah. And actually the last shoot yeah, is pretty airy. Like you're like no, it's sliding spicy. down the whole way and then you have to slow down yeah, again. Yeah, because uh, the first rock is fairly dry, but the second one is completely yeah, wet. Yeah. So. <laughs> and uh, so is the corner at the bottom. So. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. He good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Repetition is how oh, you get better. <laughs> nice one, dude. Ah, oh, I just need a little redemption on this one. <laughs> oh, big slab. Yeah, another big slab. This one is the tallest one so far. Once again, there's a big G out at the bottom, so we want to control the speed. In the past, when I came here, I was with Alex and we filmed for Noona, and I went as fast as I could. I ended up airing a little bit that second part and doing like a bit of a, of a move. But today, I'm gonna go as slow as possible. So my technique is gonna be to rely heavily on the front brake. I always talk about how the front brake stops you and the rear brake only slows you down. So once again, this is going to be a great example. But as you can see, there's some cedar pieces on the way and it's super nice. It makes the rock uh, rideable because otherwise you'll have some big steps. But the cedar is going to be quite slippery compared to the rock. So that means we have to adapt and we can't apply as much braking on the wood that we can on the rock. Another thing I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be dropping my heel 
to uh, lower my center of gravity. That way I can get better traction, I can be more efficient. And uh, let me demonstrate. This time I'm gonna go very slow. I'm gonna pivot turn using my front brake. Holy shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna pivot turn using my front brake. Very slow, not a front brake. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sick how you could tell he tried to go as slow as he could, but then the bike was working a lot in all directions. That looked pretty cool. Like, you let me know how, how I was in the camera, but. <laughs> Dude, that was so fun. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, I kind of let go purposefully. I know you tried to go as slow as you could, but I was like, I want to have a little bit of fun after the super slow tech stuff from this morning. And quite the impact at the bottom, actually. I mean, the faster you go, the bigger is the impact. So. <laughs> but that was worth it. <laughs> okay, I follow you now. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Okay, now following Alex. Yeah, dude. Nice one, dude. So fun. That's some really good speed here. Oh, I love this slab. And the rock is getting drier, but now we put some loam onto the rock, which makes it more slippery. So. It is definitely a bit more slippery now. This feature is pretty interesting behind me. The original line that the builder put together is on the rider's right. We'll talk about it later. But me, I came up with that line in the middle, which is really nice with the moss and you basically creep into the edge and kind of air onto the slab but you have to manage two compression one right at the bottom and as you bike recover again there is that second little slab and other compression obviously there's a bunch of trees everywhere and the exit is right here on the left so there's a lot going on you have to look ahead you have to be strong on your bike you have to be proactive as well to anticipate uh, the movement of the bike and of the terrain it's gonna be interesting, I'm gonna do it again and hopefully Alex does it next and uh, then we'll see if I can do uh, the main line. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna show Alex my line. So I was opening the corner around here. That way I can take my time, I can see where I need to go and you, you'll be able to really see the line. Uh -huh. Keep rolling. Whoa. Oh, and not do that. I was just talking about how slippery was the moss and uh, and I just slid on the moss but did you see I just released the front brake and everything was fine yeah no I, I felt control I definitely I mean it's very slippery right now yeah. dude this line looks absolutely nuts it's getting steeper and steeper and the last section is a roll but it's basically vertical and if you have any type of speed there is no way you could just roll it you'll have to basically air to yeah. flat and you will not be able to ride out of it yeah from here dude it looks insane like it's super steep off camber you need to make a corner into an even steeper section the only advantage you have here is that the rock is dry but I don't know if that helps a lot. <laughs> the rock is kind of dry, a bit dirty, but my tires are wet, so... Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have a think about this one. Fair enough. <sighs> okay, let me see if I can do that line. Definitely going to add some high speed compression for that. Just for the impact at the bottom. Dude, that, honestly, oh as you creep in, yeah. it looks like it's not doable. Wow. But I'm like, if someone's built it, surely it's doable, but yeah. <laughs> eh, I'm good at breaking control. So that's, you know, I know that if someone is capable of doing that, like uh, yeah. I should be able to do it. <laughs> and that's why, honestly, I didn't feel like I could do it, but I'm like, that's what I ride every day, like steep slab, yeah. where it's all about braking control. My bike is super dialed. 
I actually added some high speed compression. My fork is quite stiff, whereas my rear shock is a little bit softer, mm -hmm. just to help on stuff like that. Yeah. My front end is fairly high, like, I've got some Maxxis 3C grip, 20 PSI on the front, 22 on the back, like everything is dialed to be successful on that, so. Yeah, that was, I'm stuck that, that was insane. How I'm did the, the transition feel? It felt, I mean, the impact is still big, but yeah. it felt fairly smooth only because I was able to be basically at no speed, right? Yeah, yeah. That, looked, that looked like the hardest, like coming through that corner. Oh, and you know, once you're in, you're like, if something goes wrong and you have to let go the brakes. There's no, no much uh, places to go. <laughs> this, is, this was insane, actually. Dude, well done, dude. That was proper, proper tech. And to be honest, we know somebody built it, but we don't know if anybody had done it before. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, second attempt, because repetition is the key to progress. He's done, lot of on break. Yeah, boy. Damn, those ice brakes are good. <laughs> if you guys want a discount code, check out the link in the description. Remy Ride Ace 15 will give you 15% discount on the Ace Dominion A4 disc. Woo! Well done, dude. Thank you. Going to follow Alex down a super cool section of trail. <laughs> it's tight here. Yeah. Nice! Woo! Ah, that's not easy! <laughs> nice one! That was fun! So next, we got those gnarly rock steps. As you can see behind me, it's super steep and exposed. And actually, for the story, the first time I ever came here, I didn't even know if it was possible. Like the builder, which is yeah. Onsa, he's been building a ton of really cool stuff around here. I knew he had built it, but I didn't know if himself or anyone else had ridden it. And it almost seemed like impossible. But after warming up, you know, I, I was feeling good on my bike. Everything was like clicking, like everything was pretty dialed and set up for this type of, uh, of lines. I took a run in and I could really visualize myself riding everything in control and perfectly and coming to a stop at the bottom safely and I felt 100% confident which is why I ended up doing it. It's a little bit like the line we just mm -hmm. did earlier where at first I didn't really feel it but then after studying the line, warming up, you know, doing some testing uh, of the brakes on the slab prior, everything kind of clicked and then I could really see myself doing it and not making a mistake. Like I was confident yeah. I wasn't gonna make a mistake otherwise I would have never gone for it. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride it because now I've done it several yeah, times. Yeah. Actually, with Steve on the hook, we've done a, a video here. It's pretty cool. Check it out. So yeah, I'm gonna ride it. Hopefully, Alex, um, you know, sees how I do and decide if it's a good idea or not for him to do it. And let's go. Let's go. Okay, on to the gnarly steps. Actually. That little approach to me scares me a little bit more. Rock is of camber and the compression is pretty gnarly. So I'm gonna set up, lots of braking, heels down, and I'm gonna try to go very slow. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I was very controlled. So much control, dude. I went, I went basically as slow as I could. Yeah. Uh, but you know, once you're in, like it's very intimidating, but once you pass the very first bit, it does become easier. Yeah, then you, you're not standing at, on the top of that blind mountain. And you literally can go twice as fast as I did on the second section. Yeah, it was really impressive how you kept your speed down on the first section. Yeah. Uh, so now I've redone it in front of you. Hopefully yeah. I made it look not too sketchy. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? So to be honest, like Remy makes it look really good and it it makes me want to do it a lot. But I'm reading like a few signs, like I've been feeling, you know, like kind of off on the bike today because of some previous events that, that's been happening. And I feel like today 
even if I have the confidence in my skills and I really want to do it and I'm really excited for the video, at the end of the day, if I read those signs, I'd rather listen to them and be safe at the end of the day. So I think I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, and um, I'm very confident in your skills, but what you bring is, I think, really good is if things don't line up and if in your head you have like those little doubts, you just shouldn't be pushing it. You just shouldn't be doing it. And me with the channel and now with, you know, the reach I have, I really want to bring that message. Uh, lately we've had a lot of, you know, terrible accidents, including the past week a death on on cypress mountain on the north shore and you know accident can happen to anyone at any time you can be the most prepared and the most confident and skilled person things do happen it could be even something completely outside of your control such as you know a freak mechanical something that never happens but that's gonna happen one day at the wrong time just like your chain snapping in front of a drop where you got to like you know put a pedal crank it could be it could be really anything like a flat tire at the wrong time it could also be like a rock that rolls on the track just at you know the wrong place and causes you to to make a mistake and i think it's you know people have to understand that it's okay to say today i'm not feeling it i know i can do it i've got the skills the bike everything but if you don't feel it you shouldn't do it and at the same time if you're overly confident but realistically you don't quite have the skills or you've never done anything like that but you're very confident about it it's really important to ask yourself like the question if actually you actually have what it takes to to ride that and with you it's no question we've been riding together for years now and i know that this will be no problem i can picture yeah. myself watching you and you riding this yeah, and getting yeah. to the bottom and be like Oh, that was yeah. not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, you know, I think you're making a smart yeah. decision and I would not want to be there with you if I felt like you were off sure. and you were telling me, no, I'm going to do it. That's like, not, that's this is not, not, it's not a good way yeah. to, to approach it. So you walking away from that, I think is a really good example of, you know, viewers at home watching this and being like, you know what, maybe when I go and ride with my friends, and you know i'm not feeling it i'll just pass on and come back when everything lines up so it's, yeah always always another chance to to come back and do it and at the end of the day we want to keep riding bikes that's yeah what, we want to have fun you know? so actually that's what yeah. we're gonna do yeah. alex and i are gonna go for an extra lap something a little bit more mellow we're gonna be riding chill and, and just having fun to you know finish the day so yeah. let's do it let's go so Alex had to go home, but I'm gonna take you down a quick lap by myself. It's gonna be fun. Thank you everybody for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to Alex for writing Thank those you. features. With the current condition, it's always harder than it looks on camera. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, comment, and check out the links in the description. There's a bunch of codes and also affiliate links that support me. And you can save some money, for example, on oneupcomponents.com with the code REMY20. See you next week.